Hello everyone, welcome to the Gate and PTL lecture course. Today we are going to solve some gate problems. A monochromatic plane wave of wavelength 600 nanometer and it is given by this expression is incident normally on a great thing, giving rise to a plane wave in first order of diffraction. And it is given propagating in the direction of K1. So what is the period of diffraction gating? So basically first you have to understand what is diffraction gating. Similar to like double slit, if you extend this slit um, to n numbers, then it will become grating. So diffraction gating is the n slits. And the condition for the maxima of for the case of grating is given by the sine theta equals to n lambda. And it's a complete long expression to calculate this condition. I just use it directly here. So the concept here is we have to find what is the period of diffraction grating. So you have a wave which is incident normally onto this diffraction grating, and in first order, it will cause light in this direction. So we have to calculate what is the period of this diffraction grating D in this case. So um, you have an incident wave, let's say it's in the z direction. So let's say this is the z direction. And you have a wave which is moving in this direction k1, which have both component x and z. So this is x and z, then this is your k1. And it makes an angle theta, let's say. So in this case, you can say that your incident wave is k with magnitude k in the z cap and you have k1 with magnitude k1 along with the direction which have both components x cap and z cap 1 by 2 x cap plus square root of 3 by 2 z cap so you have to know what is the angle theta so this is the condition for diffraction grating and we have to calculate d so sine theta can be calculated as k cross k1 this is just right hand rule once you know two vector k and k1 you can calculate sine of theta by taking their cross product so i just take the cross product and divide by their magnitude so magnitude of k1 and k will cancel out and k is in the direction of z cap so 1 by k1 is in the direction of 1 by 2 so this term multiply cross term with this term will give you 1 by 2 in the y cap plus z cap plus uh, z cap this term will give you zero. So sine theta will become theta will become sine inverse of half which is 30 degree. And when you put this into the expression this one p equals to lambda by sine theta it will become 600 by sine 30 degree. So it is become 200 nanometers so the getting period is 1.2 micron meter.